right, friends, I got another one. And guess what? I don't know what it is. Doesn't seem like a box from Watch King. Doesn't seem like one from Watch Bandit or whatever the hell that thing is. Maybe not eBay. So I don't know. Julio Romano. Okay. Never heard of him. Sounds fancy. Sounds Italian. I think I may actually already have one. Oh, like the box already. Because, you know, we all know a good box means quality watch. That's a joke. I think I'm going to like this one. Interesting. Nice. All right. Let's see what I can find out about this watch. All right, guys. This is one that I've actually had for a little while and just haven't gotten around to doing it. It is the Giulio Romano. And before I open it, I first want to go into some of the other things. The manual, which it does not come with. That's okay. I already knew about that. Um nice box i suppose and this interesting uh italian stitched leather box the warranty card and two-year warranty right yep two years it is actually a swiss watch and it is made in switzerland so it is not Chinese made. Uh, it is the Termoli and it is actually made in Switzerland. So it is definitely a unique watch. I'm not going to say that this is for everyone, but um, it's a nice watch. It has a Swiss movement inside. Uh, I don't remember which one, but I will open it and you will see that here. It has a Swiss movement inside. It has a Swiss movement inside. Lies. Look at this. Look at this image here. Do you see it on the right? What does it say? Here's a close-up. Movement Swiss Quartz. It does not have a Swiss Quartz. It is a Japanese movement. It's, uh, it's actually really cool, but I just got to say, it is an acquired taste. You know, I, I'm going to do a, a, a close-up of the of the face because I, I really want you guys to see that because I think that's probably one of the cooler features of the watch itself. Um, it is an aluminum case, right? So it is not, it's not stainless steel. It's an anodized aluminum and it, it is actually quite cool. But this will dent, um, you know, if you're not careful with it. But this is probably not one that I'm going to keep. It's a little bit too, uh, what's the word? Not gaudy. Uh, it's nice. It's just a little bit too much of a fashion watch for me, and I already have a lot of three-handers. So, my guess is that this is probably as a Ronda, but you guys will see inside, so. Um, but it is it is really cool. Uh, I like the company. I'd never heard of them before. Uh, I just assumed it was some fake brand that, you know, they just made up a name, and here you go. But it is actually a, it is a real company, Swiss company, and they have a lot of cool watches. It is a fashion watch more than anything else. Take this off so you can see it. I'll get a better picture of it. But uh, it is kind of a neat little dished, uh, three-dimensional, three-dimensional face. So I, I think it's actually quite cool, and I do like the back also. And it is a screw-down back. Um, let's see. Does it have one? Or does it just think it does? It's five ATM. Just say five. Yep, five ATM, fifty meter water resistance. Oh, that kept all the gook on there. Let me see if I can take that off. Man. Oh, there we go. Now I'm spreading it around. See, you know, you leave a sticker on there for too long. You should know better. All right, well, I'll take that off. If I, if I decide to sell it, I'll take all that. I'll clean up the gook off the back from the sticker. <laughs> but, yeah, kind of a cool, you know, honestly, it actually kind of looks communist, but whatever. Who am I to judge? Um, I, I, I like the crown especially, I think it's kind of neat. 
Um, it's not screwed down. It's uh, just, you know, kind of standard. But uh, I like it. Rubber strap. It's pretty cool. The MSRP on this, I can't remember. I think I got this one for about $73. Um, but I will put the MSRP up here somewhere. But yeah, I paid about $73 for it, which is, which is kind of cool. I saw it and I was like, you know, this looks like a really neat watch. And I just want to see. Um, it's new old stock, so it was gray, gray market. So I think it was obviously more expensive. I'd have to say this, you know, it, it is interesting looking, right? So it's hard really to account for taste because different people have different styles. But it feels like a, if I'm being honest, feels like a $75 watch. I mean, it's aluminum, so I don't really know how I quantify that. Um, but with the quality, I'd say $7,500. And I would be comfortable with that. Knowing that it's a Swiss watch, Swiss movement, um, slightly more unique off the beaten path, I'd say $7,500 to $100. That's what it feels like. So, all right, let's do some measurements. Uh, I don't, it does have some loom, so I'll do that first. Let me turn the light off. Not expecting to, uh, such great loom, but we'll see. Yep, there you go. Kind of useless. <laughs> I don't even know how you would even be able to tell what the time it was. All right. Case is kind of square, so I'm just going to measure it like this. Let's say that feels like. 43.5, I'm gonna say 22. Yep, that's that's 22. Depth, okay, I'm always wrong in this, 12.5. Oh, I'm good, yes, look at that. 12.5, lug the lug. 52, uh, no, more like 51, 51. So it's a, it's a big watch, it's got a big fat crown with spikes. But uh, it's neat, feels good. I'm gonna take this finger C Force off and I'll put it on so you guys can see it. Okay, there we go. Kind of cool. Bit much, I don't know. You gotta have the right clothes. Maybe on the beach, who knows, at the gym whatever. Well, if you like it, leave a thumbs up. If you don't like it, leave a thumbs up. Um, and subscribe if you want to see more crazy watches or decent watches. Really doesn't, really just doesn't matter. Um, and uh, leave comments below. Thank you.